I think the um, you know the application of regional therapies for melanoma has uh, been proven to be a very effective treatment for in transit melanoma. And I think uh, what is very interesting right now is with the explosion that we have of, uh, of immune modulating agents uh, in their treatment towards melanoma is how to best interface both as a treatment guideline and pathway um, as well as integration of immune modulating agents along with regional therapy. So I think that's probably the most exciting part of this. Um, you know, as you know, regional therapies for melanoma include isolated limb infusions and isolated limb perfusions. I think infusions are certainly very attractive because they're percutaneous, they're minimally invasive. You know, you can, you can apply this to patients and they go home very soon after this with limited functional deficit, even though they have in transit disease. And the fascinating part of it is, uh, is the complete response rate it ranges almost from 40 to 70 percent after an isolated limb infusion. And we've just recently conducted a systematic review meta-analysis looking at regional therapies for melanoma. And we found that the overall survival in this population is about 41 months, and this includes randomized trials as well as observational studies. So I think it's a very exciting treatment for in-transit disease. And as you know, the immune modulating agents that have been studied um, have typically been studied in the setting of either unresectable disease or for patients who have very advanced stage 3C or in-transit melanomas. And so I think there is an area where there is some overlap between regional therapies and immune modulating therapies. And so therefore, for a patient, it's very interesting for us as clinicians to try to decide which patients we would pathway towards regional therapies and where would we use immune modulating agents. And where would we use regional therapies followed by salvage immune modulating agents versus immune therapy first and then regional therapy. So I think that's a very exciting sort of a phase for uh, regional therapies in melanoma.